This week at the Cannes Yachting Festival, the world caught its first glimpse of the solar impact. A 78-foot yacht that offers nearly 2,400 square feet of luxury. That's nearly twice my house and 22 conkers. The yacht has three levels, or decks, but the most impressive feat is that it's solar powered, drawing most of its power from an 800 kilowatt battery that is charged by 3,200 square feet of solar arrays. Gives it about 10 hours of power. Though it does have a range extender in case you get too much cloud cover or bad weather. The new yacht also glides over the water, even over three foot tall waves. The hull is based on the SWATH design principle, or small water plane area twin hull. The ship has two torpedo shaped buoyancy bodies beneath the water surface. According to the company, this achieves a physical wave decoupling that reduces the yacht's rolling and healing by up to 90%. The yacht tops out at about 22 knots, which is around 25 miles per hour, and relies on components that are controlled by an onboard artificial intelligence system. Most of the systems on board are automated, so that the yacht could actually be piloted by a single person. The company is based out of Zurich with production facilities in Dresden, and it's made up of a team of engineers, designers, and precision mechanics. Super yacht. Cheshire-based Moss Bikes designed a new bicycle that was strong enough and capable of remaining stable at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Now, why is that necessary? Because Neil Campbell wanted to become the fastest European ever on a bicycle. Well, again, since he was trying to break his own record. Pulled behind a Porsche Cayenne Turbo, the bike topped out at 149 miles per hour and change. It's a new record that he set while riding a bike built with a mix of carbon fiber and 3D printed parts. As you can see, the wheelbase is much longer and he has special tires that are, you know, more up to the task. What was interesting is that the feat was pulled off at Elvington Airfield, which only has a two mile runway. I mean, he didn't have much room, which is why he went with the Porsche Cayenne Turbo, which can reach 100 miles per hour in about nine seconds. It tops out at 177 miles per hour. The feat was somewhat dwarfed by Denise Mueller Kornick, who just last Sunday was pulled behind a pace car at the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. The land speed record was 167 miles per hour. Denise hit 183.932 miles per hour. However, she did have a little more room to work. She had 3.5 miles. Still inexplicably fast on a bicycle. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.